Hello everyone and welcome back to another Starbase video. This is part two of um, Star Wars ships and Starbase. Yes, today we're here and we have whatever ship name is on screen or if I remember, it's basically the Star Destroyer. Woo! This ship is really, 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 really cool. And here and there, it's underwhelming. But for the most part, this is a 8.5 out of 10, if not more. It starts off with a really cool bridge. And my FPS, say goodbye. <laughs> Let's get the settings down. Oh, they're already at zero. That's why nothing loads at a distance. Uh-oh. Oh, it's automatic. Oh, and it's okay. This game makes no sense sometimes. Ah, what happened to it? All right, we'll we'll keep it here, just so we can have this thing called performance. But we'll start off with the armament. It has equipped heavy lasers. What? Fine, fine, fine. We'll crank up. It has heavy lasers. It has anti-ship missiles off the bow. Very cool. It has anti-air missiles off the stern. Very cool. It has cruise missile launchers off the front as well. Very cool. Those really can only be used at like, like years away because they're turning arc. They're basically just cross map projectiles and loud you can really only use them like cross map but it's okay we have point defense where you can create an impenetrable field of hellfire for any small ship secondary battery the main battery and yes it is curving around the planet I love that feature. I have not seen a game or many. I like. I don't know if there is, but I have not seen sci-fi before doing something like that, where stuff can curve, gravity exists, and just because we can, a super laser, because why not? And that's basically this ship is just why not we actually have one of the best bridges in the game in my opinion one it has already a good view of what's in front of you as well as the ability to look around in front of you you have your navigation and sensors as well as artillery on either side it also has these low subclass subclass humans place i mean i mean uh, bridge command staff um not not sub he what who's who said that anyway yes totally not a flagship reference yeah I'm, i'll make a video showing you guys how to do it unless i already have but yes just like the star destroyer venator and all the other star destroyers we have this sunken down area for the plebs of society as well as benches because why not and thankfully thank you starbase and all you devs i can actually sit in the chairs this is something I've been sad about before is you can't sit in chairs and sometimes but it works here you also have a screen facing backwards or forwards who knows on the left and right you have your airlocks out very nice and if we go further back we reach the elevators which we'll check out in a second one step further and you have the briefing room where the captain has his clearly defined personal seat very nice very nice if you go further back you also have the captain's office very epic the transporter room wrong way we have a very simple very simple transporter room but it is very nice i like how tall it is makes it very nice very nice on the eyes it is a bit hard to look at in roblox but eh. 
and this is on the port side that means left side of the ship if we go one further we can get to the mess hall which is in the same place on the starboard side starboard right which has the replicator two of them and lots of seating for the crew so it's similar to the transporter room it's a very nice room i really like it and it feels quite comfortable and livable if we go to our final room we reach the hangar which is actually quite sizable you can even hold some where is it oh finally that's how you spawn the solar scout outside of a quest but you can spawn some pretty big ships in here and they are on the lower they are lower they're on the lower side if you're looking for them ow my ears anyway that's what the that's weird anyway oh and now that we're docked i found something weird odd i also like how it has the hooks as if it's trying to repair a ship or if you need to and i'm not sure but you might be able to fit two ships in here this is about the most egregious like representation of what starbase sometimes has happened is look at all the ship it's massive that the the bridge that big of a space could be a detailed interior for the whole thing and yet the majority of the inside is just blocks so there's a lot of really cool space in this engine layout in the back is superb it is beautiful and funny enough it can't actually warp why i don't know but that's about all for this ship it is very very fun to fly and to pvp with even though it is slow but one of the coolest if not the coolest ships in the game is the carrier version all right and here today we have right after the normal the normal ship is the carrier form now the bridge is exactly the same so we're just going to skip over that it comes equipped with point defense and quite a bit of it actually very well defended point defense just being point defense right now bombardment artillery which is located all along the bottom no one survives it also has a main battery which is the lighter cannons which is kind of meh heavy lasers which you can't hear there they go it also has a really cool anti-air missile system you see those little things here they're moving well they just shoot out of there as anti-ship missiles which shoots out of the top and a super laser turret which can't really go up but it can shoot down now i kind of already spoiled it but you should be able to see is what's this what's this right here one two three it opens it's amazing you can fly a ship right out of there you open it up and the ship flies it's just like the venator and along with its very very cool design here you also have the um you also have lower hangers which we'll get to see in a very unique shape gets kind of different there in the middle and a different engine layout but let's get on to the cool stuff so like i said the bridge is exactly the same dorsal hangar runway that is the top one you can fit insanely big ships in here you can fit the gunship as well as other stuff too let's dock it look at this 
you can fit this big of a ship oh I've never flown the gunship wow those are some big guns oh no I hit the wrong button but what I'm meaning to tell you is you can fit some insanely big ships you can fit some colossal ships in here and this one is really cool We're, we'll get to check this ship out another time neat if you go to dorsal hangar control tower you get a really really cool little area where you can do things and you can control it fortunately same thing as with the omicron shuttle you you can't control it from here so that's a big big rip moving down we have the ventral hangar and this one is on the bottom can't have as big of a ship but that's okay so we can still have we can still have fun ships down here you can still fit fighters all you gotta do Whee! and now you have fun it's a lot of long range stuff but yeah, you can have a bunch of fighters down below, some big ones too at that. Slow down. And you can even fit one in here. So that's really cool. So that'll about do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you again in the next one. Have a good day. Goodbye.